Hey everyone! Today I want to talk about the caloric theory of heat. Now this theory was proposed back in the 18th century by scientists who believed that heat was actually a substance called caloric that flowed from hotter objects to colder ones. Let me give you an example to make it easier to understand. Imagine you have a cup of hot coffee. According to the caloric theory, the coffee is filled with caloric, and when you touch the cup, the caloric flows from the coffee to your hand, making it feel warm. But here's the interesting part. When you blow on the coffee, the caloric in your breath actually flows into the coffee, cooling it down. So according to the caloric theory, heat is not just a sensation, but a physical substance that can be transferred from one object to another. Now, the caloric theory of heat was widely accepted for a long time until scientists like James Joule and Benjamin Thompson discovered that heat is actually a form of energy. This led to the development of the modern theory of heat, known as thermodynamics. So there you have it. The caloric theory of heat, an old but fascinating idea that helped shape our understanding of heat and energy. Thanks for listening and I hope you found this little journey into the world of heat interesting.